30 years ago this year, Cult 60s TV show The Prisoner was first aired on our screens. And right now it gives me great pleasure to interview one of the original cast... Ma Excuse me. What do you mean I can't interview him? Who do you think you're speaking to? That's it. I'm through. I resign. I will not be boxed, briefed, debriefed or numbered. My life is my own. That told them, but there's only one way to meet number 48. Alexis Kanner, otherwise known as The Kid, number 48. You worked on three episodes of The Prisoner and described it as working without a net. What did you mean by that? Well, every morning, Patrick McGowan would greet me with the same words. It's going to be another day of indescribable brutality. And was it? Well, if you take the last episode, for example, fall out when I'm singing them bones and bones and doing acrobatics, and he bribed all the front men. He'd offered the money to the first guy who laid a hand on me. And you've done that 45, 50, 60 times all over that soundstage. I mean, the set took up two aircraft hangars of worth of space. By the end of that, you start to ache, even though you're, you know, I was only a kid, uh, you start to ache in places you didn't even know you had places. people, including myself, think the whole series was filmed at Port Merion, but that wasn't the case, was it? No, before I began, they went up with a film crew to Port Merion, and they filmed a whole bunch of uh, scenes that they later stuck into the episode. I never left MGM in London. That's amazing. So you were filming the last episode on two sound stages, but it, it was made to look like Port Merion? Correct. Who brought me here? What about the, the rumour that the final episode well, consisted of just three pages of dialogue and the rest was improvised? No. Patrick rode it on an airplane from Los Angeles. Got off the plane, came over, showed it to me. What's the name of this place? You're new here, aren't you? Where? Do you want breakfast? Where is this? The village. <laughs> Describe the setting of the first episode of series two that, that actually never happened. He was going to start off with the Tokyo Olympics and uh, he was going to do the marathon. He was going to take the camera right along the marathon and go to the back of the marathon runners and there I'd be in my top hat running along, keeping pace, hunted by faceless men because I was the only survivor from all over the world. And he continued moving the camera backwards until he came across Angelo the Dwarf, and he'd be running 50 yards behind me, looking after me. And that was going to be the first shot of number what would have been 18. There's a rumor that Mel Gibson is planning to do um, a remake, a movie version of The Prisoner. As a writer, and as someone that starred in the series, where would you take The Prisoner next? Well, it's eternal, isn't it? One man's quest for freedom and to be an individual. Uh, so I, 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 I would just assume, as if Patrick will have written the script, and Patrick's a brilliant writer, I assume that he has properly set it today. I mean, today, anyone with a computer can hack in and find out your name, what you had for breakfast, what you did last night with your wife. I mean, freedoms are actually being eroded and more. The subject is even more relevant today than it was before. You know, I don't want to be a number. I don't want to be a number. I don't know who you are or who you work for. There's one final question I've got to ask you. It's perhaps the most important question. Who is number one? Well, you're number six. I'm not a number. I'm a free man. Good to see you. Still to come on SFC, we take a look at the latest Deep Space Nine video, and Caroline will be bringing you the latest science fiction news. All I've got to do is find my way back to the studio. Wait! continues after the break. Encounters with a different spectrum. Weightly statement. 
which is how I mean it. Or you could take on a musical level as well, you know.